One of my favorite things about using a tiling window manager is that it kind of forces you to get into the mentality of using your keyboard more often. And I've really enjoyed coming to learn how to use my keyboard in my workflow to be more productive. And I highly recommend for anybody who's interested in being more productive to try a keyboard-centric workflow. It's definitely not for everybody. It definitely takes time and effort, but I think in the end, it's probably worth it for most people. One of the things that I've discovered in the last couple months, though, is something called a key cord. Now, a key cord is a specialized key binding that allows you to combine different key presses in different ways in order to run commands or open up applications. And honestly, these things are great. Now, these aren't new by any chance. They're new to me, which is why I'm making this video. But if they've been around for a long time. If you've been using Emacs, you've been using them forever. And if you use something like Xmonad or Qtile, these are actually within your tiling window manager already. All you would have to go through and do is add them to your configuration file. But if you're using a window manager that doesn't have these built in, there is a way you can actually use them, and that's by using SXHKD. Now, if you don't know what SXHKD is, basically it's a hotkey daemon, which is part of the name actually, that allows you to use it to set key bindings, and as long as it's running in the background, the system will actually recognize those key bindings. Now, SXHKD was actually developed for the BSPWM window manager, but a lot of people use it for other window managers as well, and I'm one of those people. I use it for DWM, I use it for BSPWM, obviously. I've also used it a little bit in Qtile. I've used it a little bit in, like, Spectre WM. I, I enjoy using it because it allows me to take the more generic key bindings, the things that have nothing to do with the window manager, uh, and allows me to transfer those key bindings across window managers so I don't actually have to go through and take my, say, my browser key binding and put it in every single configuration file. That would be a pain in the ass. So today what I'm going to do is talk about how you can use SXHKD to actually use key cords within whatever window manager you're using. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now this is my DWM setup. And there's nothing really all that special about it, it's just DWM. But DWM doesn't actually support out of the box key cords. So in order to do that we have to use SXHKD. So the first thing you have to do is actually install SXHKD. In order to do that you just do sudo pacman dash s s x h k d if you're on an arch system or if you're on ubuntu sudo apt install s x h k d okay so i already have this installed but i'd be using the pacman one but if you're on a debian based distro you'd use apt so once you have it installed you have to ensure that it's running so you can do this in however you manage your auto start file uh, I do this with an auto start patch for DWM. So if I do go into my DWM folder here and I have an auto start script, so I can just do vim auto start. And then I have this line right here for SXHKD. And basically every time DWM starts, I start SXHKD. And then I have multiple instances of SX, SXHKD RC on my system. So I have one specific for DWM. Uh, and that's why I use this C flag in order to actually point towards a specific configuration file. You probably don't need that. Just use X SXHKD, in which case you'll need a configuration file, which would be then located in .config slash SXHKD slash SXHKDRC. Mine is actually in that DWM file, SXHKDRC. SX I'm going to say this word until I actually get it without messing up. SXHKD. It desperately needs a better name. So if we do an LS here, we have the RC file here. And I can just do vim, vim into SXHKDRC. And then this is what that looks like. I'm not going to go into all the, the functionality of SXHKD. Specifically, we're going to be looking at key chords today. They're really actually pretty simple. The, the syntax actually for a key chord looks exactly like this. You have the key binding you want to bind to. So in this case, Super G. And then you have the key that you actually want to go through and press that would associate to the program you want to launch. So in this case, NTNL associate to Nitrogen, Telegram, and LibreOffice Writer. So if I do Super G plus L, I would get LibreOffice to open. That's really, really cool. And the benefit of this is that it, it gives you more options for launching stuff 
so that you don't have to take up your modifier keys because a lot of time your modifier key, fire keys like control are for other things like you couldn't use control z for something like that because that's you know that's a that's a paste or copy command or whatever same thing for like control alt and whatever those things are often used by your window manager for other things so if you are able to do something with a key binding that's not used and then use that for multiple different things, that's great. And it allows you to free up your modified keys like Control, Alt, and Super for things that are more appropriate for your window manager, like moving things around and all that kind of thing. So what would you do if you wanted to go through and actually create your own key cord? In order to do that, all you'd have to do is go through and choose a key binding that you don't use. So in this case, we're going to do Alt plus T. And then you'd use a semicolon. And then you'd want to do the key or number or, or letter or whatever you wanted to associate with the program you're going to be launching. So in this case, I'm going to use H. And then we'll do a space and do a couple put a couple spaces here. And then what we want to do is just put in the command that we want to run. In this case, I wanted to run, say, H top. So in order to do that, I have to tell it to do alacrity dash E H top. Okay. And then if I save this and restart my sxhkdrc file using super escape I can do alt t plus h and I get h top that is how you create key cords in sxhkd now like I said you have to make sure that this is running in the background so it has to go in your auto start file I showed you how I did that in mine but if you use a different window manager other than mine uh, or other than dwm it may be done a little bit differently so you'll have to look that up on your own uh, like something for i3, that you're, you could start SXHKD directly from the, the i3 configuration file. Uh, if you're using something like BSPWM, that could be started directly from the, the BSPWM configuration file. Uh, same thing with Xmonad, actually. All those, thing, all those happen to control the auto start st stuff directly from their configuration file. So you do just go through and start SXHKD from there. Uh, there is a default SXHKDRC file on your system. You can find that in the documentation for SXHKD, which I'll link to in the video description. So that is it for this video. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank our current patrons, Devon, Marcus, Maitland, Donnie, Sven, East Coast Web, Merrick, Camp, and Mitchell. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.